Welcome to another episode of our family channel of The Manu Chat. And today's video is going to be about one of the biggest difference in our lifestyle, Indian or let's say Canadian or Western that we see every day which starts in <laughs> this small room every morning and it is the war of the uh, toilet paper. The war, that's strong. Yes, versus water. Good old fashioned which can be coming out from let's say either handguns, oh not handguns sorry, bum guns or hand jets or something let's say as innocent as this device called a bidet which she is forcing me to remove. It is super efficient, it even cleans itself like this and it is a perfect tool unless something goes wrong. Oh. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Now that's what I call a wet start. A lot of people from the western countries who have visited India might already know that in the public washrooms this thing called toilet paper is not all that easily available in many cases. Not most but many cases. Unless obviously you are in places like airports which are frequented by foreigners or let's say star property hotels or nice fancy restaurants. It's very unlikely that you will find one of these. So if you have to, you know, manage your daily hygiene, sanitation, which is pretty much a life of your everyday basic requirement, then you need, need to keep one of these in your handbags. Indeed. I used to travel a lot in the past, actually, in Africa and Asia. So I used to always have one in my day bag. <laughs> And yes. it was so useful. <laughs> and it's not just India. Four billion of the global population does not use any of these. So this would lead us to discussing what the advantages and disadvantages are because, you know, this side of the family cannot imagine their life without a toilet paper. Am I right? It is true. We've been brought up with it. So it's <laughs> yes. just... The next topic being brought up with or without a paper, how my experience from India has So my Canadian love, what has been your experience with the toilet paper? Uh, pretty much my entire life. I mean, uh, the first time I heard about bidet, I think I was 10, 12 and it was in a movie, but it was yeah. never part of our culture or daily routine. It's, I, I don't know anyone in my family or like immediate surrounding that, that use it. But, but no, now I do, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, you mean the, the no one uses water, everybody uses toilet paper. That's correct. Now let's get to my side of the story. For 22 years of my life, that is mostly my adulthood, I had never had any reference to anything called a toilet paper and what it is used for. Okay, same case as yours, never mentioned entire childhood, all my family uses like how most of the India does water. Now I'm talking about 15 years back in time. Things have changed now. Paper is more uh, easily available in groceries. People know about it. They're more aware. Netflix and everything and also changing practices and a lot of Indians who go study abroad and bring this thing back to India. So things have changed a lot but my reference, my first encounter with a toilet paper was at the age of 25-26 when I actually oh, wow. saw it in person. When I first time travel abroad and that was in Dubai and when I actually saw it I thought of it as something that you use like a normal tissue paper as we do call it in India for cleaning the seat or that kind of purpose but the actual main core primary use of it I had like you know I couldn't see it like that Wow, so it was not even available in grocery grocery store during your childhood? It might have been but I was not looking for it <laughs> so I don't know Do <laughs> 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 
there is sunny but not warm enough what i was saying was the toilet paper does not have only one use that it is primarily used for it is by a lot of people used for cleaning the toilet seats general sanitization i have seen people blow their nose in it i have seen women in hostel remove their makeup using toilet paper and uh, i have seen some people actually in hostel sleep with toilet paper what next to their bed sleep? they keep their toilet paper for emergency them. yeah for emergency <laughs> or for i don't know blowing their nose at the night or i don't know god know what you know but anyways most likely blowing the nose at night yes. and what about you do you have any other use other than toilet paper for using it for you know what I mean it's it's convenient alternative views what you're talking about just because toilet paper is easily available it's always there so whenever you're running out of Kleenex or you're running out of uh, tissue paper in general it's yeah. it's something that can easily replace yes for makeup or blowing the nose although um you need to use quality toilet paper for the nose otherwise you'll have uh, rashes yeah But and how residue do you blow your nose <laughs> Same way I wipe my ass off <laughs> with water and and water <laughs> dissolve While in this beautiful environment so many trees what concerns me is that toilet paper comes from wood and wood comes from tree and you have to cut a lot so there is always an environment factor but water also is also a very very valuable and precious resource you cannot be like you know just using it overly but it would take some study to probably find out we are no expert but what i can say is that water is definitely easier and cheaper method of doing it more environment friendly or not i don't know but you yeah, know it what it is it is definitely more eco friendly okay i i'm not an authority on that so i won't say that with confidence but you know what an average person who uses toilet paper all his life 400 trees go in one person one individual's life just to provide toilet paper look at all these beautiful i think we have about 400 in our property i don't know but that's a big number yeah it's a big number right and you know what most 20% of the toilet paper made in world are used by 4% of the population which lives in the united states it's a big 9.4 billion dollar industry and you know where that a, a good chunk of that wood goes from Ooh. are you assuming canada canada because canada has about 9000 trees per one person the population is really low land mass is huge there are big forests as compared to india india has only about 28 trees per one person because land mass is three or four times smaller population as you know is about 1 billion plus so that is one more reason for indians to use less toilet paper and also in an economy where a good chunk of population is barely able to make their make their ends meet in that case toilet paper can be seen as a luxury for most of my fellow mm-hmm. countrymen you know or an unnecessary expense as well yeah but slowly we're seeing a switch also in yeah. the western and i think the last year with the pandemic there's been a lot of yeah paper shortage, yeah 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 so. water does not go extinct in <laughs> you know pandemics and also uh also the western culture is moving more back towards you know the primitive culture haven't yeah. you seen the trend of pooping in the squatting position coming back yes it's mm. quicker yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's healthier and quicker yeah, actually yes, yes but just going back to the the bidet versus toilet paper like mm-hmm. at the end it's really a switch of mentality mindset because it, it's an habit right you need to develop a new habit and for me it is something that um i was never told <laughs> all to do and if i was to use one tomorrow morning i i i honestly i i would be confused like because <laughs> like there's the wet part right the and wet for part. the wet part <laughs> in my head i would still need toilet paper <laughs> okay <laughs> that's that's what i think now i think we should come to how i use it or i would suggest or what you'll is a good me? balancing huh? you teach me yeah but i would <laughs> i would tell you what the ideal combination as per myself is <laughs> Your daughter-in-law mm-hmm. is saying mm-hmm. that we need to teach her <laughs> how to use the hand jet. 
what is there about teaching it? You just sit on the whole thing. Once you're done with your business, you just rotate a lever and the water flows and you experience one of the most satisfying feeling on earth. But I tried it without sitting on the seat, you know? Yeah, then and you the water was not going in the right direction. <laughs> she was talking about this one. Actually, this is one of the best directions that I have ever seen in any bidet in my life. So that is not to be tried. How okay, will you know if you try it without sitting on it? Let's assume it's the right direction. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So once you're done with your business, you use the water from the bidet. Yeah. But after that, like when you want to, you know, mm -hmm. get up. Yeah. That is where uh, I would like to say that a lot of people who never use toilet paper should consider because once you are done with your business just try you know drying yourself off with one or two leaf of toilet paper and you might realize that you are not all that as clean that you thought you were by just oh. using water and hand. yeah 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 it happens it happens a lot of people don't realize they just get up prematurely while they're behind partially wet it is really not a hygienic way of doing it Oh, the saddest part of my existence is that the woman of my life is kind of, you know, making me do the unthinkable. She's asking me to get the bidet out of this toilet seat, without which I will have to resort to those resources that I do when I travel in Western countries, which is keeping a half liter bottle with me, with uh, which I use as, uh, you know, the source of water when we don't have a water jet, but she's making me remove it. That is not entirely the truth, actually. I don't have anything against bidet. I have something against this one because the way it is, it is actually making it very difficult for the cleaning lady to do their job uh, since it accumulates a lot of dust in this area. So I don't have anything against bidet, but I would prefer a different version of it. Fine, we can get the hand jet like my brother has. That would be awesome. And ultimately, this is something I would want to switch to because it's more sustainable in the long term. I just yes. need to change my habit. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> I am very fortunate to have a partner who is willing to intermingle in the culture. And for me, <laughs> I personally use the bidet and the toilet paper after for extra cleanliness just to be sure so both of us have found a suitable middle ground and i hope everybody and every couple is able to manage that but that is it for today's video if you liked it so far please hit the like and share button and for more videos which are gonna be less out of the toilet and more out of the like you know kind of in the open maybe <coughs> yes subscribe button and bell icon yes. we really need it thank you so very thank much you. <laughs>